Alrighty guys, today we've got such an exciting video. If I tell you what, if we told eight-year-old little Ando that this is what we're doing, he would be so excited. But we're going inside of my local Pokemon card shop and they got this Pokemon card vending machine. And we're gonna buy every single Pokemon card item inside of that vending machine. Completely sell it out for them. I think it'd make the store's day, they'd be so happy. And also, I'm fascinated. If we bought all of their mystery cards and all of their boosters, what could we pull? By the way, guys, this is my last weekend in Australia. I'm actually leaving for America tomorrow, and I'm actually gonna be in Orlando, Florida. So if you live around there, I'm going to go to a collector con. So if you guys wanna come meet me, trade Pokemon cards with me, I'm gonna bring a few binders on the 25th or 26th, which is Saturday, Sunday, the last weekend of the month. I'll put a link in the description if you guys do wanna go buy tickets, but hopefully I'll see all my Florida fans there or it's just a really fun experience for me to try and meet more American fans. So hopefully I'll see you at Collecticon. I'm really excited. But anyway, we get a vending machine to buy out. So let's go do that. So pretty much this all started about a week ago when I posted this TikTok about my local Pokemon card shop having this Pokemon card vending machine. They've got all these Pokemon boosters in there, but they've also got these random mystery Pokemon card slots at the top. But the mystery ones are what we want. So let's go a couple of $3 bangers. I reckon these should be the easier Pokemon for us to catch by the end of the day. All right, $3 card. It looks like a bit of a promo, like the little, I don't know, the little baggy on it. A Luxray, okay, not too shabby. So we've got a regular Luxray V right there. I think my plan now is to swipe out the $10 section and see how we go. Oh, Charizard, there we go. Brakeson and uh, Charizard tag team. That's sick. I don't know if you can see right in here, but there's heaps of $10 cards still to go. So I reckon we just get as many $10 bangers as possible and see how lucky we can get. This is like a dream come true for a uh, little Ando. If I could just have an unlimited spending day at a vending machine, getting all the $10 bangers. And the next one, oh, it's a cook. It's a cook full of cards. So that's, uh, I feel like a freebie. It's like the Joker card. Can't get that in Pokemon Go. Look at this, I don't know how this happened. We're officially opening up the vending machine because I found there was a card on the edge and I'm so curious what the card is. I couldn't actually buy it because it was a bit of an error. Oh my goodness. Harley, what is it? Here we go, what's the reveal? Oh, it's a Beedrill full art, the worst one ever. Oh, of course I it's think, a Beedrill. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out like this. This is amazing. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're doing it. hundred and ten dollars worth of cards right here. We're emptying out the Pokemon card vending machine. So all the tens are gone, all the fives are gone, all the three dollars. Okay, so we've got all the mystery card ones. Okay, so we've got 14 Astral and then two Battle Stars as well. Boom. And is that all the Pokemon stuff in here? Okay, let's go bring up the total and pay the bill. And with that, Ando's financially bankrupt. Okay, this is actually pretty wild, but the entire vending machine contents fits into this bag right here. And I don't know if you can see, but it's filled with top loaders and Pokemon boosters. Now, I don't exactly remember if I told you, but every single card you're about to see, we're going to put into one big unlisted leaf binder and give that binder away to you guys in the comment section. I know it's crazy, but wow, oh my goodness, it's a Kyoga EX fuller card to start things off. Okay, we're going to see all these cards again, because I'm literally putting all of these into one binder and then someone that leaves a comment is gonna take home that binder. So if your name is in the description of the next Unlisted Leaf upload, you've won that binder. I'll respond to one comment. So make sure you leave a comment on today's video if you wanna win a binder that is filled with all of these cards. I wouldn't mind starting off with this collection. Hey, it's a full art stung tank right there. I love this card. I think the uh, fire in the background just looks like a classic over the top YouTube thumbnail. And then, you know, he's right in the middle. So I reckon this must be the $10 slot of the mystery cards. But uh, okay, like, if you win the prize and you win the binder, I can dispose of this for you. If you don't want it to be sent with the Beedrill Fuller, I actually understand your problem. We got Cook Fuller card. So guys, you're getting like trainers as well. Hey, you can't be mad getting a Charizard and Brakes and GX. Oh, I love these cards. And then we got Lycanroc GX as well. I'm kind of jealous. I mean, I think I ended up, uh, <laughs> I ended up jumpstarting someone's collection to the absolute moon right now. I'd love to have a binder with all these cards. Turdinator GX. Imagine taking these to a trade day. Greninja Break. Arillaboom VMAX. Yeah, that's right. That was I think that was our, one of our first ones we got. Our, I think it was at the $10 slot. Rapid Strike Urshifu. Stop it! What? Was this in the $10 slot? I swear, in the store, they were charging like $70 or $80 for this card. I swear. I wonder what other big wins we can get. This is a huge hit out of Crown Zenith. 
Got a leafy on V as well. I'm liking that they've got the newer sets. They got all the way up to Crown Zenith. That's really nice. Grim Snarl V Max. We need his cousin, the Charizard V Max. A Lolan Golem GX. This is a crazy cross section of cards. And then we got Aerodactyl V. Looking good. Oh, I get excited because I, I saw that that was like an ETB slave, so I was like, maybe it's something different. But Victini V Max. Got the texture on there. EV V Max. That would be in the $2 slot for sure. And you know what? As I mentioned, like even taking a loss on this stuff, I actually do not care because the reason you do something like this is to help support the store and hope that uh, you can show them enough love that they can stay open. And um, yeah, you just want to keep local TCG spots open, I think. So it's very easy to keep the online places going, but having physical locations to do like trading card stuff is really important to me. So that's why I love doing these videos. And then if it gets to help out another collector is... <gasps> Oh, it's the Japanese one. That's amazing. Look at it. Got the character secret rare. You know what? If this was like a week ago, I needed all these cards. Zamazenta V-Star. Yep, that's a big one. Hey, Sharon's Care. Huge. These full lots. Second to last card. Whoa, it's an old school one. Is that out of platinum, maybe? Or is it Diamond and Pell? 2009 Pokemon. Marchamp right there. Got a reverse. Is that? Yes, yeah, regular reverse. Not even a promo card. Amazing. And the final card. <gasps> and we end it on a shiny Radiant Charizard. Hopefully that's setting the tone for the boosters that we're now going to open up. Now, to my surprise, the most amount of things that were in the vending machine. I mean, it was a lot of these like regular cards, right? The singles. I get that's a big draw. It's an interesting thing. But it was a, like an absolute load of these Astral Radiance packs. There's like 12 Astral Radiance packs in there. So we bought them all because I'm curious like if they just pulled them out of a booster box or whatever. But I just thought it was fascinating how many was actually in there. And now I'm curious, what are the pulls going to be like? Because Astral Radiance still has a lot of really nice cards you can get out of there. So cards I'm hoping to get for you guys to build the binder out properly. It's not a bunch of regular rares. That's not going to make for an interesting binder. We want like Origin Form Palkia. You remember that card? The Machamp. That's right. The Machamp or Art. Is that still the most expensive card in the set? This one here? You guys know it. I actually pulled it on the channel. I still have it in my collection because the art is so gorgeous. So I guess they're the three big hits in my mind I really want to go for. Drifloon. So hopefully... <gasps> Stop it! Already on the second pack! Dude, I swear, what the heck? When I'm not pulling cards for myself, I'm literally... I, I apologize. Whoever gets this, the... Uh, okay, look. I don't know how they cut this, but they did it with a pair of scissors, because that top is so short. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ando's got a full luck card on his second booster in. I'm hoping this is a good sign of what's to come, because we still got Battle Styles and Silver Tempest to open up. Okay, there's the code card. Let's go for... And by the way, you guys can take the codes. Um, yeah. It's an absolute free-for-all as per usual. Scyther, Stantler, got the Yanmar. Hoot hoot. Come on, vending machine pulls. Surely they're a little bit better. You know what? They kind of are. Galarian Mr. Rhyme V. Even if you've already got it, you win the giveaway or something, you can trade that puppy away. Diaga, I'm looking at you, and I hope you're looking at me right now, because I need your alternate art. Bit of shine. Even just a holo card. I feel like this bind is missing a couple of, like, regular holos. Maybe a couple of cool reverses if I... Oh my gosh, there's another hit. Hopefully another couple cool reverses. I don't know, shiny cards. Hoot hoot. What do we got here, guys? <gasps> it's Trainer Gallery. Hey, it's a bomb. It's no Trainer Gallery. But we're about to go to McDonald's and get a double cheeseburger. Boom. It's a Darkrai V card. I was obsessed with Darkrai when I was a kid. It was my first ever event Pokemon. I remember taking my Nintendo DS. Yeah, I think it was my Nintendo DS, the thick silver one. I took it to Target, and I got my first ever Darkrai from there. Maybe Ando needs like a Pokemon podcast, and I can just reminisce about all my collecting. Darkrai's a good hit, though. I, if I was going to get a V card, I'd actually want to get that one. And you know what, guys? That was a black border code card, and there's a bit of texture on some sort of border. Craniodos, Hollow Swine, Rufflet, Quillfish. What is it? <gasps> Stop it! It's Origin Form Dialga V-Star! I want the big, bad, alternate art. Just imagine. And if we don't get it here, we got four packs remaining. If we don't get it on this set, let's just pray we get on another one, all right? Two other sets to go. Swing this one around. There's the code card. Go four. Okay, there is it. There is a hit here. I think it might be a V card, though. We're probably get, we're probably asking for way too much <laughs> by asking for... Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! It's something! No way! <laughs> Oh my goodness, are you joking me? It's always vending machine boosters that come through and give us these... Oh wow, there we go, we got our holo card, Bastiodon holo right there. 
I swear, it's always the vending machine boosters that give us the best luck. Like, tell me. This isn't sensational. This is where the black border, I believe, encapsulates this art so much better than, like, anything else. Because this could be a full art runoff. But something about that black border makes it really nice and square. How fun are vending machine boosters? Or just vending machines in general? They should definitely make more Pokemon card based ones. I wish the Pokemon company would put them everywhere. Actually, no I don't. And I wouldn't have any money left. I'd be uh, <laughs> living off noodles for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Because every single paycheck would be going to that vending machine. AKA what happened today. Rowlet, Quillfish, Oshawott, Hoot Hoot, come on. Oh, another holo, Rampadose. This is the last Astral Radiance pack, and then we move on. So you know what? We'll do Battle Styles next. We'll save Silver Tempest to last. And then we can take a look at the binder. The big custom-made fan giveaway. Unlisted Leaf to start off the final pack. So fitting. It always knows when to come out. Hippopotamus? Oh, Temple of Sinnoh. That was the final reverse. And a regular rare to end off Astral Radiance. It kind of sums up my luck with that set, but at the same time, today's opening was really nice to me. Oh, snap, guys. I Look at this. We uh, we misread it. There's two more surprise Astral Radiance and two more battle styles. So there's not three. I don't know why. I was looking in that bag, and I must have completely misjudged it all. We'll do the battle styles first. See if we can't get a Tyranitar. That'd be sick. Or single strike, rapid strike, Urshifu. Probably what we should be going for. They're the main characters of the set. Uh, Tyranitar sort of just takes the cake though, that artwork's just unparalleled! I'm not surprised, the, the vending machine boosters, guys. I know I keep saying it, but Jesus luck is nuts. Single Strike Urshifu V. We can definitely add that one. Can we go back to back? These are the only two in the entire machine, so... We could also be coming away with nothing on this one. Unlisted Leaf. Why is it that every last pack of a set is an Unlisted Leaf energy? Cubone, Zubat, Spiro, Fromantis... Boltland Reverse and a Luxray Holo. As I mentioned, we need all the Holos we can get. Now, back to this pack here. Come on. Back to the uh, set we're just opening up. It's the Redemption Tour. It wasn't happy giving us a regular rare to end off our vibes. With Astral Radiance, Dartrix, Ursaring, Stantler, Burgemite. Sounds like Vegemite. Cyndaquil, Combi, and a Shaman regular rare. Decidueye? Hesuian Decidueye? Is he actually going to come through? Surely he's not the Pokemon that saves this channel's day. We have, I think, I hope it is, three uh, Silver Tempest to come off of this if we don't get anything. Switchcart, Uixie, Overquill, Psyduck, Petlil, Stantler, Burgemite, Hippopotamus, Regirock. Let's do it. It's up to Silver Tempest to save the day. The final three packs. Alolan Vulpix. The entire weight of somebody's big giveaway binder is on the... Your shoulders? Vulpix has shoulders? I think so. Volpix surely has some shoulders, I don't know. Oh my god, my ADHD brain just goes sideways sometimes. Growlithe, Pikachu with all the artworks. And a Chromat Holo card. Okay, we'll put the Holo at the back. Got the Reggie Lecky right here. Let's open you up. Do you prefer a Reggie Drago or a Reggie Lecky? Which one's your favorite in the comments section? We got four. And this is the second to last pack for the entire video. Lancern, Unidentified Fossil. I'd probably cry myself to sleep. If they had Crown Zenith in that uh, vending machine, I'd be freaking out the whole time because I'm still obsessed with that set. Hosui and Bravery regular rare. This is it, Reggie Drago right now. So hopefully everyone in the comments say, now nah, Ando, Reggie Drago is the better Pokemon with the better pulls all the time. What have I done here? I've mangled this booster up, but that's okay. We can mangle that one and still hopefully get something. Come on, Lugia would be unbelievable, but it's not gonna happen, is it? Lance. Anarchin, Ponida, Venonat looking lonely, PewDiePie, come on, Spinder, Feebas, Stonejourner playing Tetris, and of course, it ends with a regular rare Gardevoir. Let's build out that giveaway binder. Honestly, guys, this is one of my favorite giveaways we've done in a while, because I feel like it's just going to improve someone's collection so massively. So if you see some of these cards and you're thinking, you know what, I want to win this binder right here. I mean, you're looking at Radiant Charizard. You're looking at a gorgeous, like, brand new Kyogre V or a full art Raichu. We can just ignore that Beedrill. If you want me to burn it, I can. Galarian Moltres just looks so stunning. That's probably my favorite card. Probably next to the full art Kyogre we got. 
Um, we got a couple of V-Stars as well, a couple of newer V-Maxes. Then we doubled up on the Rotom, which I didn't really realize, but that Pikachu down the bottom, holy smokes. That one with the Kyogre, absolutely fantastic. So yeah, I wanted to go to some like really nice home. If you leave a comment in the comment section, I'll try and pick the best one. And as I said, I'll reply to your comment, but also your name will be in the description of the next upload. Good luck, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, but most of all, gonna keep on gaming. I'll see you in the next video.